Very powerful comment by Rhonda Condo, 5188. She thinks that the judge let Durrell take over the trial, make a mockery out of it. She believes that Judge Doro should apologize to the victims. That's pretty, uh, pretty bold. Rhonda Condo, 5188. Pretty bold. You know, I give Judge Doro a 97%, but that's pretty bold. What's going on, everyone? You're watching Everything Else Channel on YouTube, everythingelsechannel.com. If at any point in time you like the video, please give it a subscribe. And I just realized Rhonda Condo 5188 left a comment at Sight Sounds Flavors. But we're going to do the video at Everything Else Channel, which is fine. And I will tag you on this channel as well. Hopefully, Rhonda Condo 5188, you have subscribed to Everything Else Channel because the video uh, that your comment inspired will be here. <clears throat> um, I think that, oh man, that's that's bold, Rhonda Condo 5188. I'm gonna keep saying your name because I want people to subscribe to you, Rhonda Condo 5188, because you have stumped me. I mean, you you have you have stumped me. Because I give the judge a 97. We all know that. But. Part of the reason why I gave her a 97, that 3% she lost, was because of the fact that she didn't really control Darrell the way she should have. Your question, though, about whether or not she should apply, actually, you're not asking, you're, you're, but you're very, very strongly asserting, actually, that Judge Doro should watch the trial. I'm actually going to put your comment, if you're, I think you're cool with it. If you're not, let me know. I'll take the video down. You know, I don't do these for views. I do these because I love doing them. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to put your condo, your condo, Rhonda Condo 5188. I'm not going to put your condo up for sale. I'm going to put your uh, comment as the intro to the video so people can see it because I think it's a pretty powerful comment. And you're saying, I'm, try I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. I'm not trying to like drag this out. Lord knows if I want to drag it out, I just talk. But me not talking is clearly an example of me just, you, you stumped me. Um, you know, I've been attacked actually by people, not attacked, but I've been like taken to task by people. There's a difference for giving her a 97 because they say, you know, you complain an awful lot about the fact she couldn't control the courtroom and how he like basically re-traumatized the victims because that's really what I care about, the victims. And they'll tell me, like, you know, for all your complaining, you're just shaving three points off of that hundred. They don't think that it, I'm really giving her a 97. They think I think I'm giving her a 97, but in reality, it's more like an 85 or something. You know, a, a B plus, a B, a B, a B. It's a B. That's not bad. But it's not a 97. I will hold on to the 97, though, because I really do think she did that good of a job. But to the little part of me, maybe, that thinks it's an 85. Um, I don't know. Like, here's the thing. I she's, She got a 97 from me. You know, that's that's my score. You know, I'm not going to, like, second-guess my score. I think she did a really, really good job. However, I do complain an awful lot about the fact she couldn't control the courtroom. I do complain a lot about the fact she couldn't control Darrell. And I do complain about the fact that Darrell was able to re-traumatize the victims, the survivors. Um... I don't know if she should give an apology or not. I think I think that if you know, because again, we're talking about we're talking about the victim, so it's not like it would have to be a, like a legal motion or something. You know, it's an interesting question. Should she apologize? I think she did apologize. I would imagine for the tragedy they went through, but you're not saying that. You're saying she should apologize for her work as the judge, as a presiding officer in the trial. Oh wow. Um, hmm. I don't, I don't think so, Ronda Condo 5188. I don't think so. But, you know, that's a heck of a statement to make, though. You know, and I'm thinking about when Jarrell didn't have a shirt on and was sitting on the table and thinking about the times that he hid behind the boxes, you know, the times that he threatened the bailiffs in open court. Yeah, they better not touch me. Um, when he stared her down to the point she had to, like, literally leave the courtroom. Uh, when Sue Opper tried to get him to acquiesce to not publishing the victims and survivors' names as they took the stand and him saying, well, this is a public trial, isn't it? Show everything. You know, when I think of all of that, 
But then when I think of the judge even saying, oh, that was a very good argument you made, you know, um, it, it, it makes me feel that your letter isn't completely out of left field. I mean, and if it were, it were, I mean, who cares? It's your opinion, but, and you stumped me. I mean, we're, I'm sitting here for five minutes now and I'm still trying to like come to grips or not come to grips, but be at peace with my decision. Telling you that I don't agree with you doesn't make me want to go outside and jump for joy because a part of me, I think deep down does agree with you. Um, the majority though does not, because I think that for her to write a letter of apology would mean that, you know, she did such a horrible job that the entire proceeding was a travesty. And I, I don't think, I don't think that that's the case. I think though that she, you know, there's, there's the one judge I always talk about that, uh, the convicted guy wanted the death penalty and he gave him the death penalty, but he wanted 10 minutes to speak. And the guy, the judge was like, well, try to make it quick. And this guy just got the death penalty. He asked for the death penalty. He just wants 10 minutes to talk to the court. And the judge is like, yeah, but make it quick. That's not Judge Jorah. Because even after Jarrell was convicted, he had that statement, various statements he made. And again, he crossed all the lines, re-traumatized the victims, put court staff at threat. And she didn't exactly come down on him hard either. So, um, so yeah, so just to kind of wrap it up here, just kind of unpack everything. Um, I think I'm scared. I don't usually scratch the back of my head or my back while making a video. I also don't have as many long pauses as I had on this video. I also don't like randomly look, you know, away from the camera like I do in this video. So Rhonda Condo, uh, 5188, you should feel very good because you stumped me. You really stumped me. I was able to come out and ultimately hold on to my 97 and say, I disagree with you but it's taken me seven and a half minutes to do that. So, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say that you're probably going to have a lot of support. You're going to have a lot of hate for your comment, but you're hopefully going to get some followers out of it. And, um, but I think you're going to have some people agreeing with you also. An apology to the victims, it's a little extreme. Actually, I'm on second thought, maybe I won't put your comment as the cover to the video, but I will put you on the, um, in the description uh, as the person that inspired this video and hopefully people will go to your channel if you haven't and subscribe. I don't want to put your comment at the beginning because that, the more I thought about that, yeah, you're going to have some people support you, but the vast majority is not and they can be a little aggressive. So I'm not going to put your comment up there, but what I will do is I will put your uh, handle so that people can hopefully subscribe. And if they disagree with you, still support you because you're putting out really good comments and you're inspiring me and probably other people to make videos. And we have videos, we have comments, we got things to talk about, we got a reason to be on YouTube, which we all really love. So thank you for taking the time, Rhonda Condo 5188. I don't agree with you, but make some really good points.